What is happening? Where did the baby go? Troy, what did you do with the baby? Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing another episode of Get to Work. So, last time we just had uh, Damien get started in the... Um, oh my god, what's it called? The detective career. So, and hold on, I don't think you guys are going to be getting any sound. Let me change this real quick. That one. Okay. And I have my headset, like, turned up way too loud. Like, I can hear, like, the white noise in the background. That's, like, super weird. Um, if you notice something, uh, my mouse is a little bit different. Um, apparently there's, like, a small glitch that happens from time to time. And supposedly it resolves itself where you won't get the custom cursor for, uh... Sims 4, you'll get your default mouse cursor, which I think is kind of weird. I haven't haven't really gone in to try and see if I can fix it through my game settings. I mean, at least I'm still getting, like, some of the stuff, but it's whatever. It doesn't actually affect any gameplay. It just affects the, like, visuals of the game, but, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. So, anyway, we had the twins last time, so let's go ahead and let's have a... Somebody come over here and uh, start loving on the babies. These poor babies. Cuddle, make silly face. Oh, you're done. Okay, well, we're going to have you come over here now and cuddle and coo at and feed and change the dirty diaper. Oh, poor babies. And now Damien can finish leveling up his parenting skill. I think that's... Yeah, that skill's already at level 8. Now he's at level 9, so... Uh, Damien is now persuasive enough that he always succeeds when influencing a kid to do an action like cleaning the dishes. Damien also knows how all their advice and teaching moments will play out. <laughs> Fair enough. Can you uh, change the diaper yet? No. Uh, maybe just coo at it some more. Okay, they want to go to sleep. Perfect. Alrighty, what do you need to do for work? Nothing. So we just have to go to work with him. Uh, he goes to work tomorrow. So we'll see if we can kind of get through uh, today and go back to work with him tomorrow. And then let's see, what is uh, Troy up to? Oh, he's on vacation. So we still need him to work on his logic skill and to work on his charisma skill. So we'll have him come over here and play some chess. Work on that logic skill there. And then uh, we'll have him start working on his charisma skill. I don't think there's a mirror down here. I think. He... Oh yeah, there is. There's one right here. Okay, perfect. All right. So a missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad. Keep looking for it. Play with a different toy. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be sad. I've never seen that that thing before. <laughs> I didn't know it was a broken egg. Uh, Damien has advised Ashton affecting his character values. So how are his, how is everyone's character values anyway? So let's see. He's all right on responsibilities. All right on conflict resolution. He's kind of a little low on empathy, but he's positive on the rest of them. How about Austin? Oh, he's got bad manners. Well, not bad manners. I mean, we're not anywhere close to achieving that rank. Um, but he's got really good responsibility, which is pretty good. So we just got to finish getting that the rest of the way up, maybe. I want to see if I can get each of them, like, two of these character value traits. Oh, my God. And, of course, Alexis is, like, perfect. She's, like, almost ready to go into the responsibility trait. She's really good with her empathy. So maybe we'll just start having them, like, set the table and stuff like that. That'll help with their manners. So how about we have her come down here and set the table with uh, a burgundy setting? Why not? And then we will have then have you come over here and get some leftovers. And what are you doing? Are you playing? No, you're just chatting. How about you join his game? And then what are you doing? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. No right there. Okay. So yeah, he needs to eat something, but... I need to churn that stool. I keep forgetting to turn it. Oh, he's just over here just grooving and dancing to the music. 
Are you good with that skill yet? Okay, there it is. I'm like, this is taking forever. And he just became good friends with Austin. That's awesome. Alright. Don't know how we completed 100 whims, but I mean, I guess that's cool too. Uh, let's see. What is your major malfunction? Uh, new sibling from meeting a new sibling. Oops. What is he doing anyway? Is he like... Kuat, talk to. Maybe we'll have uh, uh, Troy come over here and care for these babies a little bit. Uh, baby bottle feed him. Kids, get out of the way! I know you want like some hands-on experience, but it, you don't literally have to be going through your father to, to get it. I promise. Uh, maybe bottle feed, talk, and rock. I don't know what we're going to do, because now we're going to need to make another two more bedrooms. What is happening? Where did the baby go? Troy, what did you do with the baby? This is, this is concerning, Troy. Seriously, what did you do with the baby? Did you eat it? Did you eat it? He says no. But whatever. Oh, okay. She's okay. Caitlin's alright. Uh, maybe cuddle the baby just to get him to get her to quiet down. And then we'll have you go to sleep. And then, okay, cool. All the kids are asleep. Kudos! Kudos! Is your food bowl full? Oh, it's full. Alright, so. Oh, the litter box probably needs to be emptied, though. So we will have, uh, her, we'll have her come down and empty the litter storage. And then fill that up. Clean up a dish. She's a good kid. I mean, what can we say? Really? Can we clean that up now? Or does everybody, like, glitch out? Okay, can we... Oh, sweet. Okay, perfect. Cool. I got her manners, so let's see. I don't know what else she can really do. Let's see, can she... I know she can do laundry, but... How about we have you add that to the washing machine? And then we will wash the laundry. Oh, she wanted to do the laundry anyway. Send a happy text for being happy. Well, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, Alexis. We're not doing that. Um, well, let's go upstairs. Let's have you go to bed. I mean, I guess we could theoretically just turn this into two bedrooms. I mean, I guess they don't really need this space. I mean, they're not really using it. So. We'll definitely need to get another bathroom, though. So. Oh, what is your major malfunction? Oh, you have to pee. Fair enough. We'll just replace that. Go, go ahead and go to the bathroom, kid. Feel better? Alright, let's go ahead and have you come down here and get some breakfast. Uh, I'll clean out the spoiled food. Fair enough. Uh, was this emptied? Did your sister empty it? Yes, she did. Okay. Oh, how about we have you get up and you're gonna change the dirty diaper. Maybe rock her. Oh, really? Your needs are ahead of your child's? I should beat you. Okay. Go change a dirty diaper for him. And then we will have you uh, come down here, serve some breakfast. We will do scrambled eggs with bacon because that sounds delicious. And what time do you have to be at work? You have to be at work at 8 a.m. So hopefully he can make this very, very quickly. This way we can go to work with him. And the three kids will go to school. The babies will be home with Troy. And Troy can just have a blasty blast being at home with the twins. <laughs> it's got to be better than being home with the triplets. Let's be honest here. Oh, perfect. He finished it just before. So duty calls the world is a, ne a never-ending cesspool of grime and crime. And it's time for Damien to take a big bite out of it. Sounds gross. We will be joining him at work. <sighs> I 
I really hope this whole cursor thing like fits, fixes itself here soon. And of course I have my cute little recording buddy Sugar in here with me because she's such a good girl. Oh, I'm sorry Sugar, I did not mean to startle you. I didn't mean to startle you, I'm sorry. Training day two, train harder. There's still a bit more to learn before you're ready for your own case. First, let's t it's time to get out into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector and hardened authority figure. After that, you'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Get a move on, rookie. This is actually a lot more interactive, I think, than a lot of the other ones. So how do we go on patrol? Disco Damien has discovered that the suspect has blonde hair, is a teen, is female. Okay. So it's a blonde teen female. Okay. How do we go on patrol? The crime map can be used to go on patrol. Okay, fair enough. So we click here. Go on patrol. Does it, do we like go to like San Mishuno or something or did we actually go back to like where we live? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out together. This. This is where we're going on patrol. When an officer's on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents or make a friendly or mean impression. If you see anyone littering or fighting, issue a citation to make sure they obey the law. So I need to issue one citation and I need to talk with one civilian. Um, so how about we talk about cooking? Or is it like a very specific interaction? Well, yeah, I guess we could always come down here. Oh, okay, he did talk with a civilian. Is anyone littering? I don't know. Guess not. Sugar. Oh, over here. Over here. Oh, cool, he's down here anyway. Issue a citation. Heck yeah. Thought he was down here. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, well, you're not eating your scrambled eggs with bacon. You need to go issue a citation. Uh, reset object. Okay. Can I go issue a citation now? Issue a citation. There we go. No, you can't go around slapping your boyfriend in public. Perfect! We've issued a citation. Return to the police station. Alright, go to the police station. I don't know why it told us what the suspect was. I mean... It's not like we went out and found the suspect. Alright, so we have returned to the police station. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points a bulletin, an APB. While you have a rough description of the suspect, the more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perp, you will be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares a few similarities with the guilty party. Issue an APB. Alright, let's see if we can find a computer around here. They're always on the freaking computers. Why are you in jail, fool? Is that because you're insane? Uh, how do we do that? Use the crime map. Okay, what on earth is the crime map? Oh, that. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, I know what I'm doing. Alrighty. So let's see how this works. And that was actually really cool that it took us to San Machuno. I actually didn't know that. A suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in the area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you towards a suspect. 
Use the notebook to review the suspect description before you make an arrest. If you arrest the wrong person, it won't look good on your record. All right, so where is our notebook? Where's our handy dandy notebook? Is it in our pocket? Uh, that's not helpful. Okay, well, we had the description of a teen, blonde, and a female. Young adult, adult. How about we uh, do ask about the suspect? Because I think it's her. Pretty sure it's her. Now that you mention it, I just saw someone that liked that right there. How about we just ask her about the suspect? How, how, how are you doing about the suspect? Isn't that her right there? Yeah, that's you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so arrest. Oh, well, that was a weird glitch. It's sitting there just like spinning the uh, handcuffs around. Sugar, stop it. Take a nap. Take a nap. Thank you. Sorry, I don't mean to be like yelling at the dog in the middle of a video. She decided that she felt the need to, um, she felt the need to get out of the gate, which is fairly normal. Every single day this happens. I have to sit, I mean, if we just made a dog run is essentially what it is. So that so they can go to the bathroom in a specific area, excuse me, in a specific area. But, um, the rest of the yard is fenced, so I mean, it's not like she's getting out into the street, but we try to like, keep them in there until they've gone to the bathroom, and then they're allowed to kind of explore the rest of the yard. Anyway, so we just had a couple of new neighbors move in, and they have two dogs. Well, Sugar likes to run, and apparently the dogs next door like to run, so they literally like do like a race game along the fence line, and I wish I was making this up. It's super cute. It sounds like super aggressive because they're both like both of the dogs will bark at the same time. But what ends up happening is they bark and then just take off to the other end of the fence. Stop, bark, take off to the other end of the fence. It's actually super adorable. Like I said, it just it sounds really aggressive, but that's because Sugar also has a very deep gruddle bark. She doesn't have like a normal like arf arf arf. I mean, it's deep. If you've uh, I know she's barked on another one of my videos before. Uh, but, because normally she's, she's really quiet in my office, which is the reason why she's allowed in here. She just comes in here, goes to sleep, and... Anyway, so, I guess when I wasn't looking, because I had to come back into the house, get shoes, and go out there and go get her, because she hadn't gone to the bathroom yet. She just barreled through the gate. Um, apparently, between the time of her getting out and me going inside and getting my shoes and coming back out, she managed to cut her nose on something. I'm not quite sure what it was, but she like sh she scraped it good. She, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, dogs. I'm just trying to get her to like go to sleep. And she keeps trying to lick her paws and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm just trying to get her to go to sleep, baby. Go to sleep. I don't know if you can hear that thumping. That's her tail on the floor. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, now that we're done with story time. So it says, now that you've learned about work on... Now that you've learned about work out in the world, you should know that there's plenty to do around the station, too. Run criminals through the booking station, take crime reports from civilians, and get to know your coworkers. You can also use the gym upstairs to stay fit and or browse a database on a computer to bolster your knowledge of the criminal mind. That sounds really cool. All right, so what else can we do? We need to exercise for one hour, discuss case theories with coworkers, and take a police report from a civilian. Who else is even still here? Oh, there's a whole bunch of people still here. Okay. So how about we discuss case theories with Hector? Oh, here's Huda! Here's who we arrested. Our first arrest. I mean, like, come on. That is exciting. It's not exciting. It's a team with freaking cat ears. But, I mean, it's exciting to have our first arrest. 
Oh, that's like the perfect thumbnail there. Sweet. So we're just discussing some case theories. Uh, is there any civilians here? No, okay. Search criminals at the booking station. But we probably should actually just have him go upstairs and like start exercising. Whoa, where are we? There it is. So we'll have him just come up here and work out for an hour. Not like there's a shower here or anything. Is there a shower downstairs? Uh, oh, yeah, there is. Sweet. Okay, cool. You did not exercise for one hour. Okay, can you work out, please? You haven't even worked out for an hour. Thank you. Because maybe this will get uh, Damien back into some kind of shape. Because he's not really in shape. He wasn't really in shape when we first started this family. But maybe he can actually get into shape. Alright, so it looks like he has hit the last level. So we'll just have him come down here, uh, take a shower. And let's see, how the rest of his needs? Okay, so he could use a snack. I think he has like some scrambled eggs with bacon on him. Oh, no, apparently not. Uh, is there a place to grab some lunch here? Oh, I think that was upstairs. Yeah, right there, vending machine. Buy a snack. You're going to buy a faux BLT. We're just going to kind of have him hang around the station until uh, the end of his work day. So it looks like he doesn't have very much left to do. Two hours, so... He's taking a nice shower, and so he's going to come up and grab a snack. Eventually. Eventually. Does it really take you that long to scrub up? Thank you. Oh, Ashton's an A student. Alexis is an A student. Oh, and Austin is an A student. Perfect. He'll probably be in a better mood than when he was a doctor. Apparently being a doctor is overworked and underpaid. And I should like go into the free build mode and actually like put some stuff in here. I don't know what I'd put in there, but maybe I could put in like some file boxes and stuff. I don't know, it just seems kind of like under like decorated here. Maybe that's just me, but that's kind of how it feels. Is this supposed to be like the yard? Where are we anyway? Is this the hospital? Oh my god, that's the hospital! Oh, that's so cool! That's really freaking cool. Like, the police station is right next door to the hospital. That's amazing. Oh, we can just go on patrol right out here. Oh, sweet! Damien did a fantastic job today. There may be a shinier badge and a new title in his future. Damien has been promoted to officer. He will now make an additional 28 per hour for a grand total of 28. He's also received the following bonus of $160. New clothes and his next shift will be Wednesday at 8 a.m. And he has earned $234 today. So sweet. That's awesome. So he has officially had his first promotion with the detective career. It looks like he has Tuesday off and then he'll go back to work on Wednesday. Uh, but anyway, I think this is a good place to wrap this up. So go ahead, leave your feedback, comments, and your suggestions all on down below. Um, have you guys done the detective career? Do you guys like the detective career? Let me know. Uh, like I said, leave that down below. All my social media is in that description box. So if you want to get involved in any polls or anything on um, Twitter or Facebook or any good stuff like that, make sure you go check those out. And there's links so you don't even have to like search for me. All you have to do is just click on that link and I'll send you right over. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. And make sure you tap that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.